Stealth can be a tense but exhilarating affair, especially in video games when trying to eliminate a foe from the shadows. Then again, some bosses can be trivialized by the use of stealth, turning a tough challenge into a somewhat walk in the park. So let's take a look at a few examples here. Mercenaries, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. The mercenaries in Assassin's Creed Odyssey may not be the toughest foes you face. However, they can be pretty annoying without the right builds, especially when more than a few show up. So what's a Mythos to do? Critical assassinations. Critical assassinations for days. Spec into assassin damage and watch those mercenaries fall, even if it takes a few strikes. It might not be the best option for tanking and fighting several foes at once, but for picking them off one by one in the early going, you could do a lot worse. Victor Marchenko, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. As imposing as Viktor Marchenko can be, though we'd expect a bit more from the final boss of the campaign, he's actually pretty easy pickings. If you choose to fight him and manage to get an EMP grenade off while still hiding, it's just a matter of walking up and taking him down with stealth. You can even go with the non-lethal approach, but where's the fun in that? Dragons and Other Goons Skyrim in a game where the stealth archer build is perhaps the most overpowered, if not the most meme-worthy, Skyrim boasts quite a few ways to kill its bosses from the shadows. Even if you're dealing with dragons, investing in Shadow Warrior, which requires 100 sneak and makes you invisible for a brief time while crouching, lots of dagger critical damage, and a Daedric Dagger can make short work of them. Maybe don't try it with Alduin, though. TN1 Bane Batman Arkham Origins the initial fight with Bane in Batman Arkham Origins doesn't seem like a big deal. Of course, then he takes a hefty helping of Titan and goes berserk. The only way to sufficiently disable Bane from that point on is with silent takedowns. Some cool moments include climbing on his back and steering him into electrified walls for takedowns. Either way, stealth is really the only way to win, even if Bane is more brain damaged than dead. Paolo, Vice Overseer Byron, Dishonored 2 much can be said about the Dishonored series, but the sheer creativity and bonkers level of play that some players use to stealthily eliminate their foes is simply amazing. Take Dishonored 2. If you're good enough, it's possible to eliminate both the Howler's leader, Paolo, and Vice Overseer, Liam Byron, in the Dust District mission using stealth. So why would you do this, especially when either could help solve the dreaded Jindosh riddle? Well, style points, for one. Multiple Targets Hitman Series the Hitman series, especially IO Interactive's most recent games, aren't just about taking down targets with stealth. They're about how you pull off those stealth kills. Want to activate a cement mixer and bury your target? How about scanning the image of a target for an android targeting system and watching your prey confused before inevitably being shot by the robotic assassin? Heck, you can even rig an entire stage platform to blow and have a front row seat to the massacre. The possibilities are endless. Lord Yabu, Shadow Tactics. The aim of Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun is to be as stealthy as possible, executing kills without attracting any attention. Those skills will doubtless be put to the test on Lord Yabu's estate in Mission 5. One of the best ways to complete the mission is to taunt his dog, causing Yabu to investigate and open himself up to a sniper kill. The other alternative is perhaps the more stylish. Add poison to Yabu's tea and immediately leave the island before he drinks it. It's like you were never there. Kelly, Mark of the Ninja. Corporal Kelly can be tough to fight, especially when going head on and not dealing with the snipers. So take the high road instead. You'll have to deal with some laser wires, but it's easy to kill the snipers and climb on the beam just above Kelly. Break four of its support points and the beam will drop directly on him for the disable and easy stealth kill. Liam O'Neill, The Evil Within 2. Smoke grenades can be your best friend in The Evil Within 2, especially when battling Liam O'Neill. Initially Sebastian's ally, O'Neill is brainwashed by Theodore Wallace and forced to fight him. Not a problem though, just keep chucking smoke grenades at O'Neill's feet, sneak around behind him and perform a stealth attack. Do this five more times and it's an easy victory. Plus you get O'Neill's flamethrower for later use. Chained Ogre, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. There are quite a few ways to kill the Chained Ogre in Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. There's getting tossed around like a sack of potatoes, there's also getting pummeled into oblivion. But if you don't have the flame vent, your easiest path may be through stealth. After eliminating the nearby guards, retreat after the Ogre breaks free. Wait long enough and then immediately head to the left corner of the stairs and score an immediate death blow from stealth. 
This will eliminate an entire phase from the fight, ensuring you have enough healing and even a resurrect to win. Ancient Wyvern, Dark Souls 3. In Archdragon Peak, the Ancient Wyvern kind of expects you. Finding it directly is possible, but not the most time efficient strategy. So navigate through the various structures surrounding the beast, taking down heaps of annoying snake men until you're right above it. Completely unaware of you, the Ancient Wyvern can do nothing but accept your plunging attack of doom and die in one hit. Now if only the Nameless King went down as easily. The End, Metal Gear Solid 3. The end is such an endless source of hilarity that is getting a little sad. We have a legendary sniper, one who makes Snake's life utterly miserable when dueled, humbled easily by a shot in the dark. Once you've fought and killed the pain, return to the area with the soldiers on hovercrafts. You'll eventually find a dock with some soldiers on it and a room with a sniper rifle. Grab the rifle and once you get back to the hovercraft area, the end will appear in a wheelchair. Before he can be taken inside, kill him with the sniper rifle to avoid a frustrating boss battle later. Don't worry, if you do happen to miss this, simply set your system clock ahead by a week and the end will die of old age. Ah, time. Truly the stealthiest of all killers. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.